Mr. Excel Podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1733, Price Table Lookup with Bad Data. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Today's question sent in by Tuma. Tuma has a data set that's trying to create a pivot table that will calculate total revenue. Uh, but the data is on two different sheets. So here we have customer name, the item, uh, and a quantity. And then there is a second sheet uh, called price list that has a customer name, the item going across, and then the price. See, everyone has their own price. So for some reason, Wanda Hill is getting a better price than Billy Arnold. Maybe it's based on the volume that they bought last year. Who knows? But uh, you know, we need to merge these two. And I, you know, I was going to try and go high tech with Power Pivot, uh, but let's just do a plain old. Uh, look up here. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to figure out which row uh, that customer is in. So equal match, equal match of this customer name, comma. I'll click on the price list tab and we will highlight that range of customers. Press F4, comma zero because we want an exact match. And that tells us that uh, Teresa is in row one. We'll double click to shoot that down. And now for every customer, we know where in that price table uh, their prices are, and then which column. All right, match is great. It goes uh, either horizontal or either vertical, like VLOOKUP or horizontal, like uh, HLOOKUP. So we're looking up cement, comma, over here in the price list, and this time it's going to be uh, across the top. So right there, are those cells. F4, comma, 0 for an exact match. All right, so we know it's in column 6. Double click to copy that down. Oh, I'm getting a whole bunch of NAs. Brick, 10 centimeters. Brick, 10. Oh, now this is really annoying. So the price list has different product names going across the top than what's in the data. How did that ever happen? Was oh, so, you know, this is typical. This happens in real life all the time. Some pricing manager created this and didn't use the real item numbers across the top. All right, so let's figure out what our unique list of item numbers are. Control C to get the whole column. Come over here, Control V, back on the data tab, remove duplicates, click OK. All right, 11 unique, 11. There's 11 items, and I know that that other price list is not that wide. OK, so we're going to. Uh, Control C, this, take it over to our price list sheet, and we'll start to fill some things in. So, brick 10 centimeters. Actually, I'm going to cut. That way, I know that I've finished that one. And then, brick 15. And then, brick 20. Uh, there, brick 14 and brick 18 don't even exist. Uh, cement is there. That was the one that was working. So we don't have any prices for gravel, sand, boudra, hordile 14, hordile 18, hordile 24. All right, so we're going to have to go back to the pricing manager and get them to fill this in. Looks like we need one, two, three, four, five, six extra columns. And we will copy, control C. Come up here and Alt E S E for paste special transpose. And now someone's going to have to fill in these prices. And what I'm going to do, this is horrible, I'm just going to use equal rand between, let's go between 70 and 100 divided by 100 just to put some prices in so that way we can keep going here. But in real life, we're going to have to go back to the sales manager and get the sales manager to. Uh, fill in all of those prices because otherwise, you know, if you don't have the right data, there's no way you're ever going to get the uh, correct information. So now we're looking from C2 to end. Let's see if that's still correct. Uh, the price table goes from C2 to end. That's perfect. All right. So now what that's telling us is that's telling us which row and which column the actual price is in. All right. So to get the uh, revenue, you know what? I'm going to do it in two steps. What the heck? So the price is going to be equal index of our price table. And we'll start with the very first data. I want to include the headings. Press F4, comma, and then uh, which row is that answer and which column is that answer. Notice that they uh, put the sheet name is in, even though it does not need to be. So let's get rid of that. That's just F2. And 
G2. All right, double click to copy that down. And then uh, I would call this extended price or revenue, let's call it revenue, is equal to the unit price times the quantity. All right, so this would have been a, a really quick podcast had the uh, item names here matched what was in the price list. Uh, we could have just been done very quickly. Now, to get the totals by customer, we could either use subtotals, which would mean we'd have to sort, or a pivot table. Let's do a pivot table, insert, pivot table, OK. We'll put, uh, let's make this bigger here. We'll put names down the left hand side and then check mark revenue. And we now have a report for every single customer uh, what their revenue was for the whole year. Okay, well, a less than perfect situation, but in real life that happens, right? Our data doesn't add up, and so you have to take this extra step and see, you know, all of the unique items that we had. We did this with the remove, remove duplicates and then put them in the price table. And in our case, we found a whole bunch of items we sold that weren't even in the price table. Uh, so you have to go back to your sales manager and get that to be filled in. Well, I want to thank Tim for sending that question in, and I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.